Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce. Coming to you live right after Aaron Rodgers embarrasses us on Thursday Night Football. Wow. Um, they ended up only winning by 10, but Titans controlled that game starting to finish. But let's put it to the side. Uh, let's talk college football Saturday. And I got an awesome Big 12 game here. TCU versus Baylor. TCU trying to remain undefeated. Let's go. Welcome to The Sauce. The Sauce. Hey, get the sauce. All right, TCU on the road at Baylor. The line is Baylor plus three, and everybody is on TCU early. I'm talking 91% of the tickets, 97% of the money on TCU. This is as of Monday morning. Check it out, though. So the public is still on TCU, but look at that sharp money that came in on Baylor. More than half of the money, 56%, is now on Baylor, and the line has dropped. We're now looking at Baylor plus two and a half. So let's break this matchup down in undefeated TCU, 10 and 0. Um, but they're not just unbeaten. They're also 8-1-1 one one against the spread. So if you've been betting the Horned Frogs this year, you are doing just fine. So we already know what TCU does. They make very, very few mistakes. They are one of the least penalized teams in the entire country. They very rarely turn the ball over. Combine those two with the fact that they have an absolutely explosive offense and you get a 10-0 record, and they kind of hides the fact that their defense is kind of just average. To be honest, I think TCU's defense has gotten a bit of a bad rep. You have to keep in mind this team plays in the Big 12, and the style of play for the majority of the teams in that conference, a lot of plays, fast-paced, a lot of points. For example, TCU beat Oklahoma 54-24, and they beat Texas Tech 34-24. Now, some people may look at those games and be like, ah, oh, the defense didn't play that well. They let up 24 points. But against those teams, 24 points in this Big 12 conference, that's a solid defensive performance. Now, hold up. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you that TCU's defense is good, but it's about average by Big 12 standards, which means it's about slightly below average for Power 5 standards. But one thing we have to look at with TCU, their last three games of the year, Texas, Baylor, Iowa State. They just played Texas. They won that game 17-10. Uh, they only scored 17 points. The reason I'm bringing that up is because if you look at the top defenses in the Big 12, if you go by average yards per play allowed, it goes Iowa State, Texas, Baylor. So those are the three best defenses in the Big 12, and TCU is finishing their season with all three. They just played Texas, only scored 17. By the way, seven of those 17 points came on a 75-yard touchdown run. So TCU's offense was really stifled for the first time. We haven't seen that all year. Is that something we're going to see in the last two games of the year? Because keep in mind, they just played Texas. They still have Iowa State and Baylor. That's the other two top three defenses in the conference. Now let's tip our hats to TCU's defense. They showed up, held Texas to 10 points, got themselves the win, and they deserved every inch of that win. What I'm saying is, you can't tell me the first time that TCU plays a top three defense in the Big 12, they only score 17 points compared to what we've seen them scoring, that that doesn't alarm you a little bit. I'm not saying it's like, oh my God, they got exposed. Of course not, but it's a little alarming. Now, if we flip the script and we look at Baylor's offense against TCU's defense, we already know what Baylor's gonna try to do in this game. They're gonna try to slam the ball between the tackles. They're gonna try to attack and out physical, out physical, that's not a word. <laughs> They're gonna try to use their physicality and bully the TCU defensive front. So what I wanna do is I wanna look at other games this season where TCU has played a tough physical run game and see how they fared. And there's really only two on TCU's schedule. Uh, one is Oklahoma, they can be pretty physical running the ball. Now obviously uh, quarterback Dylan Gabriel was knocked out in that game and it's easier to make defensive play calls when the backup quarterback's in. But overall, give credit to TCU's defense because they were able to slow down the run in the Oklahoma game. The other solid rushing attack that TCU has seen this year was Kansas. And this is a little scary for TCU's defense because Kansas ran all over TCU, 189 yards rushing on five yards of carry. In fact, Jalen Daniels got hurt early in that game and the backup quarterback came in and Kansas still had the ball on the 30 going in down seven. And they ended up losing by a touchdown, but Kansas could have easily sent that game to OT. Baylor's gonna run the ball on TCU. This isn't Texas. I know Texas has Bijan Robinson and everyone assumes because they have such a talented back that they're a rushing team. They're not. Texas is a complete fast, uh, pass-first offense. Baylor's going to bully that TCU defensive front and score points in this game. To me, betting this one comes down to what do you think about the TCU offense? Did they get exposed by playing their first real defense last week against Texas? 
or was that a fluke? And this is the explosive offense that we've seen for most of this year. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I think they definitely have an electric offense, but I think it's a bit overvalued because they haven't played the elite defenses in the conference yet. And I think Baylor is one of those elite defenses. So I'm on the Bears here. I think TCU gets their first loss. Give me Baylor plus two and a half. Let's go. If anything changes with this pick, I'll let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you want the final tickets that I do, which is the bet of the day, top seven bets, parlays of the day, that kind of stuff, head over to kylecrumbs.com or download the Sauce Network app. College football Saturday, week 12 already. This is awesome. We got some playoff implications here, conference championships coming up. Let's have ourselves a great day. I'll talk to you on Twitter.